Welcome back to my kitchen. Today's recipe is perfect for those busy nights when you may not have a dinner plan and you probably have everything you need to make. You can whip it up in less than 30 minutes. We are making delicious taco soup. Taco soup is found with similar ingredients that you might find in a taco. Seasoned ground beef, beans, and corn. And just like with tacos, it's the toppings that count. Let's get to it. All right, grab a soup pot or a Dutch oven big enough to fit this soup. And we're gonna start by browning one pound of ground beef. I like to use lean ground beef so there's not as much grease to discard afterwards, but you can use whatever type of ground beef that you have. I like to use my spoon to break it into really small pieces as it cooks. We don't like lots of big chunks of meat in our taco soup. So I try and break it into small pieces and make sure everything's browned really well. You can spoon out the grease if there's a lot of it, or I like to just take a paper towel to soak up some of the extra grease in here. And then we're ready to add the rest of the ingredients to the pot. So we're gonna start with our seasonings. We have two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then a half a teaspoon each of paprika, onion powder, and oregano. The great thing about this soup is you can really adjust it to your liking. I just add, just taste it at the end, add more spices if you like it. You can add hot sauce if you want it to be a little spicier. And then we're gonna dump in our black beans. One can of corn, it's been drained and I drained and rinsed the black beans. And I've got some drained and rinsed kidney beans. And again, you don't have to use exactly this. This is a recipe that's really easy to adapt if you have pinto beans and you like those instead, or you could do all black beans, leave out the corn, just adapt it to your, your family's liking. Lastly, I like to add diced green chilies. There's mild diced green chilies if your kids don't like it hot, but they add really great flavor. And then of course, we've got some minced garlic. This is about four cloves of fresh minced garlic. Lastly, we are adding a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. If you only have diced tomatoes at home, that works as well. I would just throw two 14 ounce cans in a food processor to chop them up a little bit. And that works great too. We're just gonna mix all of this together and add two cups of beef broth. You could also use two cups of water and two bouillon cubes. And that's it. This is so easy. Everything cooks in one pot all together. The longer you let this simmer, the better the flavors will be. So I cook it and simmer it for at least 20 minutes. This is a great recipe to make in the morning. It reheats really well. You could even throw it in the slow cooker and keep it on warm all day long to let those flavors really blend together. So we are going to bring this to a simmer and just let it cook here, stirring it occasionally for about 20 minutes. The soup is ready. I can't wait to taste this. It smells so, so good. I love that this soup is not only super easy to make, it's really hearty. It will fill you right up. It makes a lot. You can double, triple the recipe easily. It's really great for feeding a big crew. Just like in regular tacos, the toppings are king for this taco soup. We add all the good stuff. We've got shredded cheese, sour cream, cilantro, green onion, avocado, tortilla chips. Oh, how good does that look? I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I wish you guys could be here to share this with me. Oh, this looks amazing. It was so good. This really is the perfect soup for an evening when you don't have a lot of time, but you're really hungry. It whips together so quickly. It's hearty and warm and comforting. It's just delicious. Thanks for watching, you guys. You can find the full recipe in the video description, as well as tips for making this in the slow cooker or the Instant Pot. I hope you'll like the channel and subscribe so you don't miss any future recipes that taste better from scratch. We'll see you soon.